Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing an exercise based on projectiles and the kinematics, still on engineering science and four. My name is Tepo. Please subscribe to my channel to make sure you keep on receiving videos like this. Click that notification button so that you will be notified every time I post a new video. The question that we are doing today, it's a question taken from a question paper that was written on 21 November 2019. That's question number three, and it reads as follows. With military precision, a marine hit an approaching enemy warship with a missile 55 kilometers from the shore. The missile was launched from the ground at 520 kilometers per hour at 50 degrees to the ground. And then the question, they say, determine the total time in minutes for the missile to hit the warship 55 kilometers away on a horizontal plane. So this is the information that we are given. We know that the missile will follow a parabolic path. Why? Because they told us that the missile was fired at an angle of 50 degrees, which means from A to B, the missile will follow a parabolic path. And then they asked from us to calculate the time it took for the missile to get from point A to point B, which is the displacement. And then they gave us the displacement. They also gave us the velocity at which the missile was fired. So first thing that we must do, let's convert the the velocity that they gave us as it is in meters per as a, as it is in kilometers per hour to meters per second and then also convert the displacement that they gave us from kilometers per hour sorry this is kilometers from kilometers to meters that's the first step so when we convert this will be from kilo 520 we will say times 1000 which is the kilo divided by 60 times 60 which is to convert to minute and then to seconds which will give us one four four let me check yeah it's one four four point four 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 meters per second and then this will be times 10 to the power three meters and then from here we can continue we replace this with um one four four point four four meters per second this is the velocity the initial velocity at which the missile was fired and then we are asked to calculate the time it took the missile to get from point A to point B. We know that we have a formula that goes like this. The displacement is equals to the horizontal component which is which will be uh, the horizontal component will be 1 and then this is the horizontal component will be one four four point four 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 cos fifty. Let's also write the vertical component one four four point four 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 sine fifty. And then from here, this is the horizontal component times time. We know we have we know this formula from our previous lesson we do have the displacement they they gave us we also have the vertical component so from this formula it is very clear we can straight away make t the subject of the formula and then uh it will be the displacement divided by the horizontal component which will give us uh, first we have to substitute 
Let's first substitute. This will be 5. 5, 0, 0, 0. And then the horizontal component is 1, 4, 4.4, 4, 4. Cos of 50, which will give us a, a, a value of is 5, 9, 2.374 seconds. But in the question, they said we must calculate the time in minutes. So from here, we will have to divide by 60 just to bring our time into minutes. So don't leave your answer here because you will lose marks. And then the final answer, the T that they asked us to calculate for it's going to be 9.873 minutes. And that is our final answer. And then we do the second question, which is a question taken from a question paper that was written on uh, 1 August 2019. And it's question number two. And it reads as follow. It took a cannon six seconds after it has been launched from the ground at a velocity of 420 meters Per second to hit an enemy tank at a horizontal distance of 1295 meters and then the question they say determine the angle at which the cannon was launched so this is the information that we are given we are told that the cannon took six seconds to get from um, point a to point b and its velocity the velocity at which it was launched is 420 meters per second. But we are not told the angle at which, it, at which it was launched. So we are also given the displacement of the cannon. And then we have the horizontal and vertical components of the, the velocity. And then the question they say we must calculate for the angle at which the cannon was launched. So the formula that can, the formula that can help us in this case is the formula that goes as displacement is equals to the horizontal component times t we have the displacement we also have the time from a to b so we know that the horizontal component since it is 420 cos theta in this whole thing, theta will be the only unknown of which is what we are trying to calculate for. So, since we have all this information and theta is the only unknown, which means for us it will be easy to get the value of theta. And then from here we say d, which is the, uh, which is the displacement from a to b, that's equals to... I will write it as u, the initial velocity, cos theta times the time it took from A to B. And then we make theta the subject of the formula. Theta will be equals to cos inverse of D, which is the displacement, divided by the initial velocity times the time it took and then we substitute here our cos inverse will be the displacement which is 1295 divided by the initial velocity is 420 times the time it took which is six seconds and then this will give us uh 59 point zero seven nine degrees and that is our final answer is the answer that we are it's it's what they asked us to calculate and yeah that is basically the end of our question so guys please just stick to basic every time you're given this question 
stick to basic there's nothing difficult here and that is the end of our lesson today from me to you i will see you on the next lesson ciao